The Guwahati High Court on Tuesday upheld the CBI court's life sentence to NDFB Supremo Ranjan Doimari, the chief architect of the serial blast that killed 88 people across Assam in 2008. Despite the setback, Doimari's lawyer is optimistic about challenging the decision in the near future as most of the convicts have almost finished their 14 years. The Code of Criminal Procedure says the state government can consider releasing someone in remission after 14 years. Doimari himself, however, has spent only six years and three months in jail and won't be up for consideration anytime soon. The Ekater Kit Sodobosor Pishot, Teoloke, Epak, Puma Partner Bishari, Dimission Bishari from the Hasso Purgo. While four accused, Ansai Bora, Lokra Bosumutari, Indra Brahma and Joyanta Brahma, have been acquitted, nine others, including Doimari, are still serving time. The court's sentence comes at a time when reformed insurgents and their supporters are clamouring for Doimari's release. Notably, all four factions of the NDF be dissolved after signing a peace pact with the BJP-led government. The blast on October 30, 2008, in Guwahati, Borpeta, Bongaigao and Kokrajar, killed 88 people while leaving another 540 injured. Doimari was consequently sentenced to life imprisonment by a CBI fast-track court in 2019. However, the NDFB chief was briefly granted interim bail by the Guwahati High Court for four weeks to take part in the peace process. He was also flown to Delhi to be a part of the signing of a tripartite peace agreement. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.